All right, so to get started on the Google Ops course, you go to classroom.google.com. Um, there should be an email in your inbox as well that'll click and take you here. Um, once you get in, and I have several courses, but you're just going to see this one unless you have other courses um, in Classroom. It's called Google Ops for Education. It has two little robot heads. It's kind of what you're looking for, the color, and there, there's your robots again. Uh, so this is what it looks like once you get in. Um, the modules are all here. There's usually some announcements at the top. Uh, there's a little pre-test to take here. Uh, and you actually have to email me or chat me that, Mark. It's just good to send an email to me just so uh, you get connected and you know that uh, how to send emails to ask questions. Uh, and then there's all sorts of different uh, modules here. Um, and each one has its instructions. So module one has six different lessons and it, all the things that you need to hand in. Um, what's really useful about this, so this one actually goes to a separate site, which you can do the six lessons on. Module two has four lessons. Module three has a website you go to, and then there's your three lessons you have to hand in. So it always, right at the end of each one, it shows you exactly what you have to hand in. So there's all the things you have to hand in for module four. Now module four is the biggest one. It's actually three CEUs in itself. It's also a good place to start. Um, you can do things in any order, uh, so it, if you have questions, you can leave them on the bottom here, Module 5. So it keeps going, um, but the spreadsheet that you get shared with you really helps you keep track of all your different assignments and your marks. If it says a redo, it, it uh, redo those quizzes till you get above 80, um, gives you some feedback, and lets you know how you're doing on each CEU. Um, the shortest modules are two and six. Three and five are pretty short too. Um, like I said, four is probably your longest. Uh, the one that seems to be the most fun is eight. It's actually all about YouTube. Uh, so you can go in any order you like and find things. Um, now there's a couple of ways to hand things in. Um, I am signed in as a teacher here, but you can either just share them with me jen.danberg at wrc.ca or you won't see this but you'll see a little button here a little gray button and if you click on that uh, then you can go in and actually hand things in so that's a really helpful piece too um, unfortunately I'll see if I can find one where I'm a student to show you what that looks like enrolled here we go so this is one actually from up north but oh then she doesn't have an assignment She's just playing. Let's see if this class has one. Oh, here we go. So on yours will say open like this. And when you click on open, this is where you can actually hand things in. So you can add things from your Google Drive. Um, try not to use the upload. And then you can find your file that you used and add it. So if I say that one is my file. And then once it attaches, as it goes here, and you can hit turn in. Uh, so it works really well. Um, you can hand things in different ways. Um, don't hesitate to email or pop me a chat message. Uh, and then you can ask questions as you need to.